I am glad to finally meet you in person, guests from the Astral Express. I'm Fei Xiao, the general of the Xianzhou Yao Cheng. Let me introduce our guest to you. The one dressed in green. He's the reincarnation of Inviter Lune, and the person behind him is the newest member of the crew. I've heard a lot about you. Outside the reports from the Law Fu, the Skyfaring Commission of the Yao Xing has also gathered plenty of information about both of you. I've been eager to meet you face to face for reasons that I'm sure General Jing Yuan has explained. Right. Oh shoot, damn it! <laughs> That's right. But don't worry, this isn't a trial. I just want to have a chat with you and get a better understanding of the facts. According to General Jing Yuan's report, the Ruin Legion is to blame for the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, and all Arbiter Generals should pay attention to the Ruin Author's movements. Over the years, the Destruction's minions have wreaked havoc on countless worlds, and the Alliance has been keeping an eye on them, but no one expected them to join hands with the remnants of the Abundance. The damage caused by the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis was far less severe than expected, which is good news for us. However, it was quite different from the Ruin Legion's usual style of destroying life wherever they go. While I trust the bravery of the Divine Foresight and the Nameless, I'm curious about some details missing from the report. I'd like to take this chance to have an exchange with both of you. Alright. Let me be clear, the questions I'll ask might not reflect my actual thoughts, so please don't take offense if any of my questions seem a bit harsh. Please go ahead, General. But keep in mind we can only answer based on what we know. And perhaps you already have the answers to your questions in your heart. <laughs> you have a clever tongue. I like it. Oh, dang, we're doing this again? Samoyan's claw is quite articulate. Right now, her intentions are unknown, and Jing Yuan wants us to be honest. Maybe I'll just stick to the facts we know. Alright. Let's cut to the chase. Before the crisis struck, the Astral Express was guided here by a Stellaron hunter, a wanted felon, in an attempt to resolve the Stellaron crisis. Yeah. However, everyone in the cosmos knows of the Stellaron Hunter's reputation. So, why did you place so much trust in them? Could it be that some of you have a connection with them? Uh... Shall I talk about about Elias prophecies or Rumor has it that Elio, the leader of the Celeron Hunters, oh, possesses the power to see into the future. He foresaw that the Sienjo and the Express would have important roles to play in the war against Nanook. That's why we were lured here to the Law Fu, to deal with the Stellaron Crisis and fulfill the prophecy. Oh, shoot. General Jing Yuan believes in this prophecy too, as mentioned in the report. I'm curious why you didn't question it at all. Okay, Could it, it be because one of the Stellaron hunters is actually an old acquaintance of General Jing Yuan? <sighs> Please be cautious with your words, Merlin's Claw. Let's avoid sowing doubt among our comrades. That Stellaron hunter used to be my disciple. So are you putting my loyalty in question too? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm simply bringing up the doubts about General Jing Yuan that exist within the Alliance. Since I'm representing them, perhaps you can just imagine me as one of those old geezers. Let's move on to the next question. The report suggests that Don Shu, the master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, colluded with the Lord Ravager and used the power of the Stellaron to resurrect the Ambrosial Arbor. But here's the thing. Don Shu was just a chief alchemist. Even if she colluded with our enemies and summoned the Stellaron, 
How did she manage to bypass the Vidyatara guards around the Ambrosial Arbor? Mm. Ah, shit. Okay, we see, um... I don't know if this is... We did met her. But I'll explain how she got in though. If this. the Lawfu hadn't exiled Don Hung, leaving the Vidyatara with no Earned leader, it. they wouldn't have fallen into chaos, and there wouldn't have been the opportunity to bring the Stellaron to the roots of the arbor unnoticed. And Vibrator Lune was exiled due to his own crimes. Fuck! Now, Don Hung, as his reincarnation, is free from his sins. I fucked up! However... I skipped this. Why did he risk trespassing on the Sienjo Lawfu before his exile was lifted? No, I said, no, I'm skipping this. No, I'm not doing this. Okay, I'm, doing, I'm starting over. Okay, hold on. We're starting over, we're skipping this. Okay. So Merlin's claw is quite articulate. Right now, her. Let's cut to the chase. Before the crisis struck, the. However, everyone in the cosmos knows of the stellar. Okay. No. Nah. Let me do this. You know what? Maybe I do have a connection with Stellaron Hunters. No. Oh. Now that's interesting. Looks like you're quite close to the Stellaron Hunters. However. I must warn you that they are wanted felons. While I appreciate your honesty, being honest about Damn this it. topic might make you look suspicious to some. So Merlin's claw is quite articulate. Right now, her intentions are unknown. Let's cut to the chase. Before the crisis struck, the astral... However, everyone in the cosmos knows of the Stellaron hunt. Okay, um... Let's say this. Apart from the law foo there are many other worlds suffering from stellaron corrosion for example yeah, okay. yurilo 6 the world that the express stopped at before reaching the law foo was one of them to the express stellarons act as roadblocks on the silver rail and pose risks to the warping process and that's why dealing with stellaron issues is part of the duty of the nameless yeah ah I've heard about those problems caused by Stellarons. The Express connects various worlds, so it makes sense for you to take care of this. The Cosmos is a mess, and the Trailblazers are just doing their best to fix it. Hmm. I understand. All right. Let's move on to the next question. The report suggests that Don Shu, the master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, colluded with the Lord Ravager and used the power of the Stellaron to resurrect the Ambrosial Arbor. But here's the thing. Don Shu was just a chief alchemist. Even if she colluded with our enemies and summoned the Stellaron, how did she manage to bypass the Vidyatara guards around the Ambrosial Arbor? Okay, I think this one because... I personally met Don Shu okay, yeah. Her closest friend was killed during the war on the Fang Hu, and she harbored deep hatred towards the hunt. So she spent years making preparations in the Alchemy Commission in order to take revenge on the Xianzhou. Revenge is also a form of the hunt. However, that doesn't explain how she managed to bring the Stellaron into the Scale Gorge waterscape, which was guarded by the Vidyatara. Well, you should ask Don Shu herself for the answer. Yeah. Unfortunately, Don Shu is dead, and even her corpse has crumbled into ash. That's one less clue we can pursue. According to the report, Lord Ravager Fantilia is the mastermind behind the entire conspiracy. Mm -hmm. She disguised herself as an amicassador of the Sky Faring Commission and traveled with you, only to vanish without a trace later on. 
It seems too convenient to label her as a scapegoat. Mm. I don't even know. Uh. Ah, fuck. Oh, wait, she was there too. I shit. Maybe this? I was there. Okay. Fighting Fantilia alongside General Jing Yuan. But she absorbed the power of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained an almost indestructible physical form. Perhaps that was her intention all along. So, a pawn of the destruction wanted a flesh and blood body to live in. <laughs> hmm, interesting. That's quite a new perspective. Okay, we won. Ugh. Oh, it seems that your answers have addressed all my questions. Mm -hmm. Generals, I am finished yes. with my questioning. So, what do you think, General Feishao? Have the doubts in the report been cleared up? <sighs> the two nameless have been honest in their answers. Even though there are some tricky details, my intuition tells me there is nothing wrong. However, the three questions I posed earlier were not just for the nameless, but for you too, General Jing Yuan. First, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus grew uninterrupted on the Law Fu, yet the six charioteers were not aware of it. That was a dereliction of duty. Second, you believed in the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy and entrusted outsiders to solve the crisis, even granting them access to the Plague Mark. That was a dereliction of responsibility. Third, you insist on holding the war dance right after the Ambrosial Arbor crisis, putting the Lawfu back in the spotlight. That is a dereliction of wisdom. Merlin's Claw, is this your line of thinking, or the Ten Lords? From the moment I walked in, I made it clear that the questions I'd ask might not reflect my actual thoughts. <sighs> the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were deeply rooted, and had been plotting for a long time. I admit it was my negligence for not noticing it earlier. As for the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy, I didn't believe all of it. But in the end, the Law Fu did survive the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. So, I think it's safe to say that Elio's prophecy about the future holds some merit. And as for the war dance, do you think I'm unaware of the risks? However, risks can also be opportunities. The Law Fu has lain low for too long. I believe it's time to stir up the dregs hidden in the depths and wash them away once and for all. <laughs> Just as I expected from our sophisticated divine foresight, you have a way with words. I like it. But, unfortunately, ever since the report was submitted, the Alliance has been filled with rumors and speculation. Even within the Law Fu, there are people accusing you of neglecting your duties, resulting in the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. So what are your thoughts on all of this, General Fei Shao? As a fellow Arbiter General, I fully understand the difficulties of this position. Personally, I think all these rumors are meaningless drivel. Across the sea of stars, the divine foresight knows better than anyone else what happened on the Law Fu and the meaning behind it. Just as what happened on the Xianzhou Yao Qing recently. You mean the Xianzhou Yao Qing is also. The scouts of the Verdant Knights have sent back reports that Borison are making trouble again. The Borison packs that were once divided and scattered have started swallowing each other up, forming larger and larger packs. Moreover, there's an entity named Mongus behind it all. Mongus? An entity? 
According to the report, this entity isn't actually a Borson. It's a woman claiming to be the messenger of the Master of Immortality. She's described as having 12 faces and 12 pairs of fangs, as cruel as poison and as elusive as quicksand. The Borson believe she'll give them a chance to rise again. <sighs> That's Fentilia. Fentilia. That's right. You're lucky that I'm the one who came this time. If it were the Patina Justice or the Seer Strategists, this conversation might not be so friendly. I've always had faith in my instincts, so I don't doubt your good intentions. But the Alliance has its fair share of questions and doubts about the Law Fu. So, my plan is to come up with an acceptable answer to satisfy the Alliance. What's in this plan, General Fei Xiao? General Jing Yuan, you already know what has to be done. But since you don't want to be the bad guy, I'll take care of it for you. You need the final word from the Ten Lords Commission to quell any doubts. And for that, I'll have to ask the two Nameless to visit the Shackling Prison. The Shackling Prison? Are we imprisoning us? Are you imprisoning us? No, I'm not imprisoning you. While you're there, I'll ask a judge in the Ten Lords Commission's Interrogation Division to record a detailed testimony with the karmic mirror from both of you. We'll fill in the gaps that weren't covered in the report and silence any protests within the Alliance. I'm okay with that. Me too. Your willingness to help is truly heartwarming, youngsters. Then, as the Merlin's Claw requests... Oh, there's one more thing. This testimony is for silencing the voices of opposition within the Alliance, but I would like to urge General Jing Yuan to listen to the pleas of the Foxians on the Xianzhou Yaoqing. So, you are here for Hu Lei. Exactly. Hu Lei is locked up in the Law Fu's shackling prison. Since he is the broodlord of the Borisen, I want to transfer him onto the Xianzhou Yaoqing and imprison him there. The recent movements of the Borison suggest they're planning something big, so we must act preemptively. It makes sense to have the Foxians keep an eye on their arch nemesis. Since you trust my judgment, I'll repay that trust. What do you think about all this, General Huayan? <laughs> I was worried this would turn into a heated argument, but it seems like both of you are on the same page, solving each other's problems. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. And as for Hule, I'll send my lieutenants Zhao Chao and Mozza to check on his condition in prison and ready him for transport. If there are no more questions, shall we get this started? All right. This was crazy. I messed up a couple times. Okay. All right, let's start this. I'm really sorry about all this. But the testimony in the Shackling Prison won't take up much of your time. All right. I'll call for a messenger to take you to the interrogation division. You just need to give your testimony, and then you can head back. As you wish, General. I want to hear her out. Do you actually believe in the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy? Mm. I don't even know. The Sienjo's Matrix of Prescians can also predict the future. Do you believe in its prophecies? Hmm. I understand. Do you really believe us? While words can be deceiving, your gaze, your breathing, and your scent, they reveal more than your words do. I trust my intuition more than any words. Okay. Well, I'm glad we managed to talk this out. Yeah, I get on. There's still some stuff. Come on. How's it hard to get this up in? Alright, we're ready. 
I'm Rip. I'll call from as you wish, General. Let's go. As General Jing Yuan requested, everything is prepared for your arrival, and I am here to receive you. The judges at the interrogation division also know your purpose in coming. All right. Around this area. All right. Let's go. The Shackling Prison. I didn't expect to be back here after all these years. Don Hung. Don't worry about me. If you're ready, I'll open the gate for you. Uh, what do we do? Oh, okay, I can. All right, let's say this. This is one of many entrances used for temporary access. Since you're not actual prisoners, it makes sense for you to use this entrance. Please come on in, dear guests. All right, we're ready to go in. Let's go. This is gonna be a cool place for a prison. looking at the shackling prison on the lawfu is completely different from the one on the Yaqing. it's completely underwater whether it's in the clouds or underwater breaking free would still be a piece of cake for me <laughs> still thinking about your old jailbreak tricks huh forget it you're free now just don't do anything stupid, or the judges will throw you back in there and lock you up for a few hundred years. You'll see me again in just a few days. <laughs> Taking Hule back to the Yaoqing means a lot to the Foxians on the ship, and to the General herself. So stay alert. Guests, my name is Shui Yi. And I'm here on orders from the Incarceration Division of the Ten Lords Commission. Hey, we get to see her. We're Zhao Cho and Moza. General Fei Xiao sent us to extradite the Borisin criminal Hu Lei to the Yaoqing. Yeah, I don't think we trust each other. We're here to inspect the conditions of his imprisonment and make preparations for the handover and transportation. I assume you've been briefed, Your Honor. Your visit request has been approved. I'll be your guide for this trip. Prisoner Hule, the warhead and brood lord of the Boris and Abominations of Abundance and the arch nemesis of the Foxians, is responsible for 2,123 wars of aggression and countless associated crimes. Due to his heinous acts, he has been imprisoned in the depths of the Shackling Prison and subjected to the punishment of the Forest of Swords until the end of time. He no need okay. to repeat his crimes and sentence, Your Honor. He is the greatest enemy of us Foxians. The stories of his atrocities are used to terrify our children. I'm well aware of every crime he's committed. Let's move on to the next step. When it comes to visiting criminals, there are rules in place to ensure your safety. I know you've heard legends about Hule since you were children. But your knowledge about him is likely very limited. Only the judges of the Ten Lords Commission truly know what kind of abomination is locked up at the bottom of the Shackling Prison. It has been centuries since Jing Liu, the former sword champion of the La Fu, captured Hu Lei. And during all those years, we never provided him with any food. Yet he somehow managed to stay alive. It defies all the documented physical characteristics of the Borison. Mm. That's impressive. The Forest of Swords, forged by the Punishment Division, is a device of intense torment used to execute sinful abominations. 
Most Borison die within three days in the forest, but Hule is different. Every time the blades pierce him, his body instantly heals. Despite the brutal punishment, he somehow manages to survive. Oh, that's the same thing as played then. The complex rules are there because of his abnormal characteristics. Do you understand now? I apologize for any offense caused. Please continue, Your Honor. I've given you the instructions regarding who lays visitation. Please make sure you read them carefully. Fuck, we gotta read all this shit. Damn it. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna read it in my mind. So, blah blah blah. Some of the crimes. Uh... Proceeding. No, I'm not taking random medicine. Then you won't be allowed to visit Hule. Just swallow it already. Hule is like all Borosin. He can release a pheromone called lupatoxin that induces fear. Thousands of years ago, we Foxians were enslaved by the Borosin. Not because we were naturally weaker, but because of their lupatoxin. This pill is for our own mental well being. <sighs> I understand. I knew you were a reasonable person. Now that we've taken the medicine, let's proceed. May he smell something? Your Honor. What is it? No, never mind. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Let's keep moving. You know, there's something. Here we are. All right, that's up to us. Her honor hasn't arrived yet. Please wait a moment. All right, let's look around. Yeah. And ooh. Welcome, dear guests from the Express. Judge Hanya of the Interrogation Division. We've met before. Yep. It you. Glad to meet you again. Please allow me to express my gratitude to you again for subduing the demons in the Fixtral Garden. Yeah, no problem. Looks like while March 7th and I were clueless, you already made many friends on the Senjo Lofu. <laughs> it was a lucky coincidence, yeah. Even though you and I have met before, we can't show any favoritism under the Ten Lords. So, please do as I command as we head to Scrivener Hall and beyond. Don't do anything without my permission. Alright. This is not a place for ordinary mortals. You and Mr. Dunham. Please come with me. Please lead the way, Your Honor. Please let me activate the mechanism before we all move forward. And please, watch your steps. Oh, I've moved.
Be very careful and watch your step as you make your way through. The terrain inside the Shackling Prison is treacherous. One wrong move, and you could end up plunging into the depths. And if you're really unlucky, you might be frozen solid or burned to a crisp before anyone can help you. Oh, dang. Gee. Yeah! But with your skills, I don't think you need to worry about that. <laughs> oh, shoot. You're funny. This prison does contain many layers. We even brought in Vidyodora Icor line craftsmen to introduce the ingenuity of Delve Enchantment. What you're seeing now is just one part of the Shackling Prison. Alright, uh, is that you, Dahung? Perhaps. Judging from the appearance, much of the architecture in this prison has a Vidyodoran style. So, perhaps they did have a hand at building this place back then. As for how many floors there are, well, not even us judges know for sure. But there's a legend among us judges that a short-life prisoner once tried to escape, but ended up falling into the depths. And when we found him at the bottom, he was already an old man on the brink of death. Oh. Did he spend his whole life falling? Or did some long-life prisoner drain his life essence? Hm. We'll never know. Anyway, please don't try anything like that. Please, come this way. Alright. Say this is a cool place. All right, we're here. I heard the war dance is about to be held in the mortal world. I remember watching a sword duel at the war dance with my sister when we were young. The Cloud Knight, who was the Luofu's ringmaster, was an amazing swordsman, and their sword flashed like lightning. The Outworld Challenger had fiery red hair and a hand made of steel which roared like thunder. They battled for a long time before a winner could be declared. Mm. Time sure flies. Now, both my sister and I are residents of the Netherworld, and we will never again feel the thrill of a competition. Are there a lot of people in Starskiff Haven due to the war dance? Mm. Yeah. Sounds amazing. It's a shame I'm too busy to attend. But even if I could, I'd probably just scare people off with my current appearance. <sighs> Let's get going then. Alright. Freezing. <laughs> this place is filled with the cold air from the northern peak of the polar delve. Even the toughest long life species would have a hard time enduring this. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear something just now? Let me check it out. What an eyesore. This place is packed with boxes and crates. Yep. These crates... They look oddly familiar. A few days ago, the Spirit Spiritfarers received reports about an IPC transport ship that was attacked by Borison. Then, 
a bunch of those abominations were dumped into this place. I had a feeling there would be trouble during the war dance. But throwing both the pirates and the cargo in jail? <laughs> That's a new one. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll say this. I heard the Intelligentsia Guild crafted something dangerous. We have many records in the Hall of Karma about these wise ones. They love to tinker with forbidden technologies. Oh, I caught a glimpse yeah. of the mechs in those crates, and they bear a striking resemblance to Borison. I wonder what they're planning this time. Well, business first. Let's keep moving. Oh, look, that's <sighs> Strange. I don't remember checking the containment facilities a second time. <laughs> what happened? Oh. Watch out! Oh. Emergency! All wardens prepare for action! Emergency! They got attacked. They got jumped. What's happening here? Why are these things moving on their own? Something is wrong. The guards aren't responding. Yeah, they got attacked. No dirty tricks. This thing is going wild, just like a Borison. Looks like we're on our own for this one. Yeah. Initiate cleanup. Attack. Take your positions. Let's improvise. All right, there. But how is this even possible? The spirit fairers follow the protocols, cutting off power to the mechs and sealing the crates. How could these mechs still start moving? It's just like what happened in the artisanship commission before. These goods went haywire and attacked everyone in sight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she mentioned something like that. The Alchemy Commission members examined them and found some unusual structures within. These things showing up in the Shackling Prison can only mean one thing. A prison break. And whoever delivered these goods clearly wanted them to go through the Xianzhou's strict inspection process to show the Skyfaring Commission and Cloud Knights how dangerous they were. They wanted these mechs to end up right here, in the Shackling Prison. <sighs> if these things already started taking action while nobody was paying attention, then the whole prison is in trouble, I'm afraid. And to make things worse, another group of visitors just entered the depths of the Shackling Prison. The messengers from the Xianzhou Yaoqing. Mm. And the prisoner they came to visit might be the target whom these wolf-shaped mechs were delivered here for. If that vicious beast manages to break free, it will be a catastrophe for the Sanjo Lofu. Yeah, we'll be fuck. We'll be fuck. Oh, we're playing that too. Here we are. Have we arrived already, Your Honor? Shouldn't there be a cage here? The most notorious felons are locked away in the solitary delves deep down in the prison. Those delves can't be opened without proper authorization. The blue bird paves the path. I've given you the diagrams for lighting the lanterns. Please take a look. Okay. Okay, hold on. A slow simmer over low heat, or a quick stir fry over high heat. Okay, I was just curious. Um. Okay, the birds. Where do we build this right? I think I'm not right.
Okay. That idea wrong. open once we descend to the bottom of the prison please do not do anything reckless inside the delve behind this door is the greatest enemy of the foxians hule mm -hmm. i could hear him According to custom, envoys from the Yao Qing visit the Xianzhou La Fu once every century to check on this abomination's imprisonment and condition. Even though the Ten Lords Commission sentenced Hule to the Forest of Swords, suffering every day for the rest of his life, I understand that the Yao Qing messengers want to see him dead. Unfortunately, for the past seven centuries, they've had to return disappointed. Because this beast simply can't be killed. If we can use his toxin to create medicine and save an innocent life, it might help balance out some of the sins he's committed. Mm, that's what you're trying to do. Could you be the key to a cure for the general? Who lay? <laughs> and once again, the envoys of the Yao Qing will leave disappointed. However, I won't say the same for me and my brothers. Who's there? I'm just a humble counselor of the Rhino Hound Pack. You can call me Mock Talk. Yeah, I knew he was bad. Wardens, intruders on the lowest level! Send reinforcements! Nobody will hear you here, at the bottom of the shackling prison. Thank you for opening up the prison for us, Your Honor. We'll take it from here. No wonder I kept smelling that familiar stench. So, it wasn't just my imagination. Do your thing, Morsa. We mustn't let these abominations get any closer! Hey! Detestable things. How about that? There are too many of them. Once we were inside the Shackled Prison, we found soldiers available for us everywhere. Alright. More seasoned. Maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I suggest you surrender now. Of course. I'll still kill you like Adam Fuel. But I promise it'll be swift. Watch your head. Just trying to hold fast. It's on me. Ah. Familiar. Ah. Just for oblivion. It's better to make no move. A little more shit. Why was he moved by your presence? Since you're already here. Ooh. 
have a meal before the I hit the mark. The dice have been cast. Bust? Or maybe I'll take it off! Watch your head! Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. Yeah, we don't care, you last. It too shall fall. How presumptuous. Die now! Leave if you can, Moza. It's not time yet. Watch your head. Head your bets. Uh -huh. Free will or what on the still waters of oblivion. All right, there. Guard the gate! They can't be allowed in! Oh, shoot. That motherfucker escaped. Well, shoot. Rhino Hound Pack. I am only one insignificant heir spawned from your bloodline. It's been at least seven centuries since you led our pack through the hunting grounds of the stars. I'm thrilled to see that you are as cunning and skillful as ever. Seven centuries. Seven centuries have passed. But why have Duran's whelps grown to look like this? Tell me, Mothok, why have you grown to assemble our most despicable slaves and enemies, the Foxians? I've been commanded to release you from this cursed prison. It is Senjaya's will. That's why I had to take a magic pill, don the skin of a lowly beast, and play along with their hypocrisy. Since you have an escape plan, tell me, what's our next move to get off of this ridiculously large ship? My brothers and I will lock down this prison, trapping the prison guards inside. This will buy us some time. The rest of my crew, who are undercover like me, will secure the vessels for our escape. According to the plan, we only have a tight two-hour window to get out of here. Originally, I intended to carry out the plan tomorrow. But they're planning to transfer you to the Sienjo Yaoqing now. So I seize this opportunity to set you free. <sighs> what a reckless plan, you idiot! Even if we manage to get the ships, our chances of escaping are slimmer than the Foxian slipping through my claws! But we have no other choice. The angel serving under the Master of Immortality sent me with a message. 
Only your return will end the prolonged divisions among the Borison. Every one of my crew is ready to lay down their lives if it means setting you free. <laughs> A sneaky weakling like you is actually showing some reckless bravery with this plan. Fine. You'll get what you want. And all of Duran's whelps will too. Well then, my lord. We should leave now. Before we go... Give me one of those magic pills. My lord, do you seriously want to don the skin of a lowly beast? That would be a disgrace to your greatness, my lord. You idiot. Greatness means nothing without freedom. Once I get out, only the disguise that won't raise any suspicion. As you wish, my lord. Is that Foxy enslave my meal? No, he's an envoy from the Sienjo Yao Ching. I plead you to endure him a bit, my lord, as he's more valuable as a hostage. Take him, guys! Time to move out! <laughs> now we're back to us. And I don't even know I'm strong enough to do this. Madam Hanya, the wardens in all areas are regrouping. Those Ingenium enemies are wandering around and causing heavy casualties. And to make things worse, those Iron Wolves broke open the cages and let the criminals out. We've called for backup, but it seems like all communication is jammed. Let's preserve our strength and first take down the isolated prisoners. By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Just a short time ago, the Nether Key mechanism was activated. It was probably Madame Shui and the Yao Qing messengers heading to the bottom of the prison. Given the situation, I'm afraid that area is exactly where our enemies are targeting. We mustn't let that vile beast escape from its cage. We've gathered all the prison guards who can still fight, and we'll split up and secure each floor. Go! Those intruders are quite bold. They must have been planning this for quite a while. Yeah. Indeed, but Borison tend to favor direct and aggressive approaches. Crafting careful and precise plans like this is simply not their style. Let's focus on the current situation right now. Please help me. We will. Looks like the... Uh, the weights. Yeah. Like I said, whenever we go, we're always in trouble. Looks like this. What's the fastest way to the bottom of this prison, Miss Hanya? If we don't get there quickly, we'll soon be outnumbered by all the enemies inside. We'll have to bend the rules. Please, follow me. Alright. By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Yes, ma'am! Yeah, let me do something. I need to level. Oh, I never cleaned this. Okay. How you go around it? Okay, where's the map for this shit? I have to go all the way to the fuck over there. All right, there. We need a few tools if we want to reach the bottom quickly. Follow me to the next floor. The path is cut off. Someone must have altered the mechanism. No matter. It'll just require a bit more work to get through. Dang it.
Some spiritfarers occasionally use Ingenia from the Artisanship Commission to navigate the treacherous terrain here. Normally, using devices like the shifting screen is strictly forbidden, as they could help prisoners escape. But, given the urgency of the situation, let's just ignore the usual regulations. Alright. We got some other these enemies right here. Oh, oh they got tapped. All right, I'll kill some. Looks like there was a fierce battle here not long ago. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the gate to the prison delve is wide open. Hule has managed to break free. Where are the Yelching messengers? And where's my sister? Are they still alive? Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues. Yeah, okay, let's look. Oh, there she is. She's right there. Hold on, let me get some stuff. Inspection complete. Nothing suspicious. Okay, she is. Shui Yi is. Here. Yeah. Miss Shui briefly sacrificed herself. My condolences, Miss Hanya. Condolences? Well, that's unnecessary. You must understand. Thanks to the Ten Lords' blessing, my sister turned into an Ingenium centuries ago. Dying and returning as just a soul to the Hall of Karma's document office has become a routine for her. While I'm not keen on seeing her throw away her body like it's some replaceable part, but... By the way, have you seen bodies that might be the Yaoqing messengers? One of them is a Foxian wearing exquisite clothes, and the other wears a dark cloak, like a fugitive. No. I haven't found any Foxian bodies. Only Borison ones. So, the intruders and Hule are holding the Yaoqing messengers hostage. This is the worst situation. With hostages in their grasp, the prison guards can't do anything about the prisoners. If anything happens to the messengers, the relationship between the Yaoqing and the Luofu could be irreversibly damaged. Mm. We must rescue the messengers, get out of here, and spread the news. We mustn't give up as long as there's a glimmer of hope. What have you found, Miss Hanya? like her soul hasn't returned to the Hall of Karma yet. At such a critical moment, her death can give us information that we can turn into an advantage. Let me see. The damage isn't too bad. 
If I can fix it up, my sister will have a temporary body. Hey, I've always hated this. what kind of expression I should have at a time like this. Happy? Tears of joy? <laughs> Forget it. I'm used to you coming back in all sorts of forms. Hey, hold on, Jesus. Right there. Uh, your new form has got a cute. Really? Just this. don't let me be da 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 damaged again. I'll lose my mem memories. This side crane can't hold all of me. Sister, what did you see when you were killed? One of the Yaoqing messengers escaped, and the other one was taken hostage. And brought upwards? Mm -hmm. Besides the Borison, there were other intruders. Invisible. Invisible intruders? What does that even mean? How many conspiracies are tangled up in this mess? Do me a favor, sister. The intruders have cut off all communication between inside and outside the prison. And now you're the only person the only bird who can slip out undetected. Make sure you deliver the news to the outside world. I uh, understand. Please be careful, sister. You are different from me. Time is running out, Miss Hanya. If we keep delaying, those Borison will escape from the prison. All right. If we happen to come across that Yao Qing messenger who got away... <sighs> no. Stopping Hule should probably be our top priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait! Something feels off. Something's approaching us. The invisible intruders? Watch your back! These abominations aren't prisoners from this prison. Harmony and unity. Yeah. Dreams do come true. Oh, Sam in position. Mood is set. Let the show begin! The prison management on the Lawfu is truly concerning. Who are you? Aren't you looking for me? Yeah. That is him. Just joining the battle. All will be revealed in Lunar Flame. Blade of Moonlight. 
Head your bats, huh? Attack detected. Watch your head. Alright, there, Jesus. Fuck. Every victory is hard won. Oh yeah, he's over there. Okay. Glad we missed him. <sighs> the prison management on the Lawfu is truly concerning. Yeah, you already said that. <laughs> yeah. You look better when you're silent. <laughs> hey. Hey, you're the flea. I'll say this. So what if I repeat it? It's the truth after all. <sighs> the prison management on the Lawfu is truly concerning. At least two different groups of intruders infiltrated here. The wolf cubs and these Mara struck soldiers. Their hiding technique. It's pretty similar to the wind mantle technique used by the Vidyatara serving Kylorum Venti on the Yao Ching. What do you think? Never mind if you don't have any clues. Now is not the time to exchange assassination techniques. I'm Waza. My friend fell into the clutches of that wolf. I was planning to escape and report back as quickly as possible. But now it seems... <sighs> the prison on the Law Fu is a real maze, I must admit. Thank you for your help, Mr. Morza. We'll do our best to ensure your friend's safety. No. You can do nothing for him now, and you shouldn't be focusing on his safety at the moment. Yeah, but ain't he your friend? Your friend is in Hule's clutches, and you're just going to leave him behind? Look, I'm the Yao Ching General's guard, not his. I've seen how that giant wolf fights, and there's no way. Trying to save my friend will only get us killed. <sighs> I don't know how you think, but I won't throw my life away for a lost cause. Listen up. I've been tracking these fugitives, and I know their next move. They're planning to seal off the entire prison to keep the outside world in the dark. The worst case scenario, we are all killed by that giant wolf, and the shackling prison is sealed off. No one will know about us or about their escape until it's too late. The best case scenario. Um, we're trapped in the prison? No, we won't be able to. We're one step behind them. The best case scenario would be we seal the gates and trap the enemy inside with us. We can't let that monstrous wolf escape. Hopefully, someone will eventually notice that something is off and come to help. As for whether we'll still be alive by then, it's not something we should think about. You should have a way of comforting people, Mr. Morza. As a person of the Yao Ching, I've always searched for something meaningful to give my life to. I have to make it out alive. My companions are waiting for me. <laughs> As another world dweller, I've already died once. Yeah. We won't give up. Not until the very last moment. Yeah, I keep skipping it. None of you are part of the Ten Lords Commission, so sacrificing yourselves isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard this prison. And if someone should step up to stop Hule from escaping, it should be me, not you. Once we reach the gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can to fight the Borison. Do you find a safe place to hide and wait for reinforcements? Now, let's proceed upward. Alright, hold on. Every victory is hard won. No danger detected, but never let your guard down. Okay, um...
Right, I'll just stop this, huh? Oh, dang. I'm not fighting. Wait, how do we get over there? Oh yeah, we gotta go that way. Oh, there they are. Okay. We must seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. The prison wardens and mechanisms won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. There. The gate is just ahead. There are many fugitives. Please be careful, Your Honor. All right, we gotta be careful. Right, more enemies. I will hold them back. Don't let Hule escape. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Don't worry. It's just Talking a scream. Target. All units on alert. Until everything burns to ashes! Fight to live! Spend freely. Now, another journey begins. Destiny for oblivion. This isn't... Again. Watch your head. Dice have been bust, or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. That'll take more. Free will, or was it fate? No dirty tricks, alright. Firefly Type Four sets in the sea. Watch your head. Damage the stained. It's on me. Break. 
Calibrating. Joining the battle. Detonate. Attack detected. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Stand in position. Attack. No dirty tricks, all right. Watch your head. Like I'm so everything. First to ashes. Naughty child. <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Trust me, this is a guaranteed Next win. Time. Another journey begins. Dustmile for oblivion. No dirty tricks, all right. This is more than a fight. To live! Attack detected. The dice bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All in. That'll take more than medicine. Free will, or was from the final waters of oblivion. Set to the seas of flame! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Ah. No dirty. Watch your head. Join the battle. Another journey begins. Sure, I'll play along. Spend freely. How familiar. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Support received. Free will, or was it destiny uh, for oblivion? Uh, Watch your head. Damn. It's on me. I'm so everything. For oblivion. I hit the mark. Ah. Another blood debt repaid. My fucking god. Stream four. Oh, fucking long in that sh Fucking too long, Jesus. Yeah, you can hear that motherfucker. One step away from freedom. As we pass through the gate, no one will be able to stop us. Mm. So this hostage is useless now. Kill him, Mock Talk. Oh, shit. He's getting away. Do something, Chow Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something! Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Zhou? <laughs> I'll just look at you, falling so low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, 
No one from the Outshin would ever consider a deal with Duron's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Shao or the Yaoqing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. <sighs> My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. Just kill him now. Silence, Moktok! And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? <laughs> but, my lord! We must stay here for some time, Mock Talk. Fear not. Because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Xianzhou who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Duran's whelps, follow me! Oh, dang. Stop them! We're a great lord, Prisoners must remain in place and obey the guard. Failed to comply will face severe punishment. Serving as an example to others. I went a little too late. <sighs> Report! After we lost contact with the Shackling Prison, we received a message from a Psycrane. The prisoners have revolted, and the criminal Hule is nowhere to be found! What about the Yaoqing messengers? And the Nameless? No news at the moment. We're trying to restore contact with the Shackling Prison as soon as possible. I see. You're dismissed. General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan. It's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The Hand of the Ruined Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Sienjo Alliance will face an even greater challenge, from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. Ooh. As the Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away, once and for all.
Hey, dang. This is crazy, though. This haven of memories. Every it's already touch, over? Every moment is like a thorned rose. I guess we have to wait until the next one. Really? That was over just like that? Okay, hold on. I guess I have to do this. Alright, alright guys, I think this is the end of the video. Want more Party Kid Elite? Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment down below. I'll see you guys again until the next video of Old Guy Star Wells. Ugh. Ooh, that's crazy.